Hi, this is Victor. Welcome to my channel, Vic5 and Season 5. So today I'm going to show how we um, put up a shelf. Okay, so um, the shelf. Oh, there is the shelf. It's just a, I think it's an Ikea shelf. Um, pretty simple. And then we're using Ikea um, shelf holders, brackets. There it is. We, and I'm going to put the shelf right there. Now, um, I'm going to use three brackets. Normally you would only need two, but the thing is that the stud is right in the middle here. And I know that because there's a nail here, right there, or a screw, whoops, <laughs> a screw right there. So of course, um, one of the tools you'll need is a stud finder. There is a stud finder. This is an old one. It's actually quite reliable. So if I do it here and move it along, see, there it is. And if I go like this and move it along, there it is. So there is a stud right there, and so it goes right down there. Okay, so I want to have at least one bracket in a stud. Um, so of course then I'm going to put the, um, that's why I'm using three, because I need one of course at each end, and one in the middle because that's where the stud is. If the stud was, say, more over here, or over there, then I really wouldn't worry, I would only need two. But anyway, um, so yeah, so, so now we know that there is a stud right there. So the next thing to do is just to put this one in place. So I'm going to use screws because there's a stud. I'm just going to go to my screw, uh, container and these IKEA ones, the, uh, you have to compensate for the half inch drywall. So put the drywall, it's right there. So you got this much in the wood. So that means for this one over here. The screw is not going to work. You're going to need a longer screw because as you can see when I put this in here, that's going to go into the drywall only and wouldn't even touch the wood. So you need something longer like, um, something like this. Not quite like that. I think I actually have um, right here, these ones here. So if I just uh, take this one, I think this is a two inch and oops. Okay. <laughs> anyway, for illustration purposes. Okay. So as you can see, there's a half inch for the, uh, the drywall, maybe less than a half inch, probably three eighths. So at least it leaves about an inch into the wood. So this is perfect. Okay. So then this one can be drilled straight in. And what I'm going to do is drill this one first with the uh, the smaller screw, the um, this construction screw right here, using a Robertson uh, head, which is the square one. Okay, so my brother's going to hold the camera. Okay, ready? Hold the camera. Got that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Uh, we have our drill. Now, of course, all we're putting on here is going to be these T's, so it's going to be very light. So I think we're going to do it roughly about, uh, what do you think, here, down there? Enough, enough, yeah, enough for the kettle, the, the percolator to work on. The what? Yeah, hang on. You want this on? No, percolator. Oh. This thing is, okay. the, is the main. Let's grab that. Okay. It's only a short, it doesn't matter. Okay, so okay, let's put that there. Okay, like that. That'll hold. All right, all right. The shelf. Okay, so it's going to be like this. So I'm going to put the hole in here. Oh, right. okay. Where's your level? Hold on, hold on. Um, there's the drill head. Okay. All right. You have to repeat the level as downstairs? So, um... Because you have to straighten the you know, plumb, the plumb level. So, <laughs> there's, there is one bracket there already. So, you know, we don't actually need to put the rest in yet. It's pretty tough in there. Um, the thing we're going to do next is the, the shelf. So for the other brackets that are not in the stud, I'm going to have to use some sort of a um, anchor. And because the shelf is only going to hold, for the most part, an empty uh, 
carafe. That's part of his blend, like, like an awesome. Right. Yeah. Plus, of course, all these teas yeah. and anything empty. So it's actually going to be fairly light. And we already have one bracket that's already in the stud. Mm -hmm. So the supporting brackets don't need to be heavy duty. Mm -hmm. So normally, um, if you're doing something heavy duty, I would be using anchors like one of these, these, or that. But um, because it's not light or not heavy, I'm going to use these very simple anchors over here, um, which will work just fine. But not use those screws. Those screws are way too small. So, uh, so we're going to put in uh, the anchors. So I'll be right back. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is, of course, put the shelf on and balance it. So there's the shelf. And I'm going to balance it and see where it's pretty level. As you can see, it's pretty level. You can close zoom in, really. Okay, so then, okay, hold on. So in order to put the other bracket on, ready? So in order to put the other bracket on, I'm going to take this, put it through here just to create the hole. And I'm gonna go underneath and do it roughly like that. I think that will be fine. And then, okay, so, <laughs> so there it is, hold on. So, take this off, and that seems fairly level, so I'm also, also going to, whoops, undo this, okay, so first thing I'm going to do is anchor this one in here. There we go. So this is good. Then to create the hole, the um, this is going to be the anchor, and I need to have it a little bit bigger. So I'm going to use a Phillips screwdriver. Hang on. So I find that to put these anchors in, a Phillips screwdriver works really well. So I have two kinds, the small one to create the initial hole, and then this one, as you can see, fits really well. So what I'm gonna do is go like this. There it is. And I'm gonna go like this with the bigger one. There. And then finally, I'm gonna put this one in using a rubber mallet. Just tap it gently. There we go. Okay. So then the, um, to put the second hole in, I'm going to have to, of course, drill this one in. So I'm going to put it in. So, then I'm going to put the shelf back on. Mm. Interestingly enough, it's, why is it down? strange it is slightly down you know that look at that isn't that interesting see that's interesting hmm well I can always put something in between there a spacer okay <laughs> how odd is that <laughs> okay so yeah I'm gonna have to put a spacer because look over here in theory that should have worked 
But you know, there's a gap here, see? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. in here and pop that in put this back in position now again I could probably get away with using a small one because it's not going in a stud okay Just hand tighten it. Hang on. Okay, so I'm going to hand tighten this one. I'm not sure why it's the. Uh, well, actually, maybe I need a stronger, longer screw. Hang on. So this screw is this long, and what I'm going to do is use a slightly longer screw. Okay. This one is with a Phillips, so I'm going to switch which bits. Okay, that's better. Now this one, uh, yeah. The where are we with the level? So we need a bit of a spacer here. So I'm gonna put the other one in. Oh, interesting. Okay, you know what? I'm going to do it this way. Okay, so now this one, because it's a little bit there, needs a bit of a spacer like that. I'm going to put it in like that. So there. right there okay <sighs> okay okay so we're gonna put these in this one there and this one there hold on You can also hand screw it because it is going through uh, an anchor so it's actually not that hard to screw in. Right. This one, I can see,
there. Now, to put the um, to attach the uh, <laughs> the shelf to these, we'll use short screws. So I'm just going to mark the holes with the awl. So I'm going to go underneath here and mark it in. And with these ones, I'm just going to mark it in. And I'm going to just mark it in here. And just mark it in here. Okay. So then, you can see the mark here, here, and there. And I don't see the mark over here. All right, well, just we'll deal with that. Okay, so, so what I want to do is pre-drill because this is kind of hard. The screw will uh, kind of uh, work against me. So I'm going to pre-drill holes here and here so that the screw goes in easily. Okay, so hold on. Okay, so I'm going to drill some pilot holes. And they were uh, right there, it is. Ready? Whoops. Now that I've done the pilot holes, in order to put the screw in, of course I figured out, well, where is the screw, right? So, what we'll do is basically make sure this is, put this here, and put the pilot hole in there, and Okay, there. So as you can see, well, it's just not coming off, okay. <laughs> the, um, the other one, I think the, I'm gonna use this screw here, okay. And let's try this. And we'll go underneath. Uh, let's see where it is. There it is, okay. <laughs> Too I'm gonna have to use a shorter screw. This one is way too big. So hold on, I'll be right back. Right, okay, so I've got shorter screws for the front. So we're just going to put that in here. Hang on. Am I in the right direction? Nope. There. Okay, and then over here. Okay, oh. there it is. And the other one I still need. And this one I have a spacer to use. Okay, so there it is. Okay, okay, so. <laughs> All right. So basically that's how you do it. I mean, you could of course move this table out of the way, uh, but the key when you're doing putting on a shelf is that I usually like to do at least one of the um, supporting brackets on a two by four. And then of course, like I said, because it's in the middle, we did three. And so it's circ very secure on this one here as far as weight goes. And the other ones are just supporting um, and not likely with the anchors that they'll fall off. So, especially with then the weight on the shelf itself will probably be not more than 10 pounds, if that at all. Because we've only got the empty um, coffee carafe, that one there, and all the teas. So, so there you have it. Okay, so it's all done for the most part. So let's take a look. Um, there it is on the wall. <laughs> it's, as you can see, it's pretty level. Uh, for that one spacer there, you could actually use washers. Uh, let me see if I can show it to you. The, you 
can see that there's um, kind of a washer there. And if you're wondering how to get that in there when the shelf is already on there, well, uh, use scotch tape just to put the washer on, slide it in place, and that works pretty well. Okay, so, um, yeah. <laughs> okay, so thank you for watching. Have a great day. And see you in my next episode, and please subscribe. Okay, bye-bye.